go. Grab my rose here. And there's Kai. We're sitting on the back steps. Here we go. Drinking my cup of coffee and watching the sunrise. Let me get up here where you can actually see the sky a little bit. There we go. You focus on the sky, then you can see the colors of the sunset better. And it's going to be a pretty one. So, I have just, it's just a little after 6. Well, closer to 6.30 since it's the sunrise. But uh, I am sitting out here on my, my back steps and watching the dog. I got him actually a shock collar the other day. We will report on that and see how that goes. It appears to be doing a little bit better. Aren't these pretty, pretty colors? Look at this all in here. All these pastel colors. This is Thursday morning. Oh, September. What day is it? I don't know. This is the day that Hurricane Florence is supposed to start making its appearance on the East Coast. So we're watching that pretty carefully. Yeah, those poor people. I can I cannot even imagine. I've not ever, ever been in that kind of situation before. I mean, I have had to evacuate my house because a tornado was coming. But I've never had to evacuate my house for a disaster like that, and that is just, that's it's scary. But what I'm doing, and what the first thing I'm doing, I haven't actually started yet, or getting ready to do, is look up in, a, I've got a tree book. Let me show you. Put it down here on the steps underneath my feet so you can see it, just for a second. This is Mississippi trees, and here's another one. Let me put this one down here next to it. Guide to Southern Trees. Now I've had this book, oh gosh, it's the 80s when I took a dendrology class when I was at Mississippi State. And this book was actually published by the Mississippi, uh, Mississippi State Extension Service. So I am going, I'm going to look up and see if I can find the picture of a, a tree that um, Scratch Made Homestead posted a picture on Instagram one the identification of a tree that they were uh, that they they had on their property actually it was two trees or two twigs one of them looked like it was a miniature version of, of the of the other one I suspect they were the same the same tree they she thought they had probably not but I think it was so let me look it up and find out what that is so here we go put this one up here on my lap and I know it was an oak tree, so let me go back over here in the index and look and see where the oaks are. I know you don't want to look at me with a... So this is a good book. Look at this. All the different, different identifying characteristics that you have to know. And then, okay, index scientific names. Okay, shrubs and small trees, scientific name. Okay. It's an oak. And the oaks start, okay, look, let's see, 77 all the way, okay. So this is, this is how many oaks, isn't that something? How many oaks there are? And the picture key is one thing. So let me start at page 77, and I'll just go forward from there. So 77, and then into the 80s and the 90s. So, white, definitely not a white oak. See, that's the thing. There's so many of them that look that look very, very similar, and this is the problem that she's having. Uh, I don't believe that her the tree that she has is a white oak. And I think I know what it might be. Then again, I could be wrong. What we're doing here is called picture keying. where you have a plan and then you just look at a whole bunch of pictures and try to figure out what it might be. Hmm. Oh, it looks like it could be a blackjack. 
I'm totally mean. I need to put some, uh, let me see. Well, let me see, it might be a blackjack, so let me go forward. I don't have anything to save my place. I do have something to save my place. I've got a, I'm sitting outside, I can get it. That will work. go so let's see um interesting huh watch me flip pages but that's what you do when you're picture keying something uh -uh. i'm still yawning too it's i haven't Oh, I just realized I put my coffee cup down on my porch steps near concrete. It's going to make that coffee cold. Move it up onto the doormat. Hmm. Okay, we're past the oaks. So, so I think, so the good chance, I think the closest that I've come was that blackjack oak. Now let me look and see what the water oak is. What page water oak is on? Okay, there's the water oak. It's not a water oak. So now let me look at that other book. Where did I put it? Uh oh. Um. Okay, so now we're going to look through this other book. And it doesn't have pretty color pictures like that one. All it has is line drawings. But. I think this is going to work. It's also not stay. It's not a spiral bound book either, so it's not staying open very nicely. So I'm just going through these. It's a pretty one, and looking at the drawings and trying to figure out what oak that might be. I guess what I should do is go back to the blackjack oak and see all these all these things that are oaks that don't look like oaks, do they? That's the thing about, well, this is southern trees, so it can be, one of us, it was a northern something or other, but, you know, this is a guide to southern trees. It's a blue jacket. See, there's the black jack oak. And again, that looks like what they've got, and I think that's what it is. 